Hey everybody, it's Jessica with Fried Technology, and I just wanted to show you something you may have missed this summer. Google recently launched an update to slides that allows you to um, manipulate your slide deck during presentation mode. So right now we're in the editing mode of slides, and when I go to present mode, you can see the first slide, of course, and that's advertising our free webinar on October 3rd at 7 p.m. And we are going to be talking about our fried summer of 2019. And if you'd like to attend that webinar, we'd love to have you. You can go to fried.tech forward slash talk about 10 three. That's a capital T for taco, a capital B for bout 10 three and register for this free webinar. So we're really excited to join you guys again on this webinar series, and we hope you guys join us. But during my presentation, if I want to stop looking at the slides on the screen and instead direct the attention of my audience back to me on stage or in the room that I'm in, I can do two things to kind of take the content off the screen. Um, and I'm not talking about unplugging my projector during the middle of my presentation. I'm actually talking about this update that Google offers in slides. If I want to kind of wipe my screen for a second, I can click the W on my keyboard. And now my slide presentation becomes a completely white screen. No content on the screen means nobody needs to be looking at it. They can look to me. I can talk with my students or my participants. And when I'm ready to get back to my content on my presentation, I can hit any key on the keyboard. And now the slides come back. If I want to do a black screen instead of a white screen, I bet you've guessed it. You just have to click the B for black screen and my content disappears. I have a fully black screen. Again, when I want to get back to the content on the presentation, I can click any key on the keyboard to get back to my slide deck. Now I'm in presentation mode right now and I haven't set it to auto advance the slides. I'm manually doing that, um, but I can during the slide presentation, if I move my mouse and hover down towards the bottom of my slides, I see my menu here and I can click on the gear and choose auto advance when played and choose the time intervals for when my slides will auto advance. Now I can see these settings when I publish my slide deck. But when I publish my slide deck, I have to have a totally different link. I have to save that link somewhere else so I can click on it to get to my presented slides. It makes it a little bit more complicated when you're presenting in class or on the fly. So instead, when you're in your edit mode of your slide deck and just hit present, you can now change the intervals at which your slides will auto advance. You also can change them up during the middle of the presentation. If it's moving too fast or too slow, you can come back here, move your mouse to the bottom of your slide deck so that you see your menu, click the gear, choose auto advance, and then decide how quickly or how slowly would you like to auto advance these slides. And then you can even choose to have your um, slide presentation loop at the end. These are great for open houses. These are great for um, parent night, all those different times when you need a slide deck up on the screen, kind of showcasing some student work or showcasing things happening in your classroom. Um, and then when you're finished, you obviously can hit pause or stop and your slides will go back to being manually uh, started and manually advanced. If this was new to you and you want to know more about things you may have missed over the summer in your Google for Education account, follow us on social media. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn by searching at Fried Technology.